everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be uh, going over the new ESSER tool for um, data extract. So this is going to be able to let you um, extract your data from, uh, from my school data and uh, put it into the AttendanceWorks SAT DAT tool. Um, and so I have uh, Barb, Barb Wisher um, here with me today, and she's going to be uh, explaining how to get through this. And, um, and she's, she's also going to answer any questions that you have at the end. So we are recording this for um, staff that can't make it here today, and um, we appreciate your time today. Barb? Good morning. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go ahead and begin sharing my screen. Um, what we are going to, I'm going to hide my floating meeting controls. All right. So what we're going to be talking about, um, as Deanna mentioned, is extracting your S or data through my school data. Um, WSIPSI has created a tool for us that allows us to go out to my school data, access the ESSER tab, and um, extract the information that we need in order to populate both the SAT and the DAT um, spreadsheets that you have um, hopefully gotten through attendance works. I'm going to quickly go through the PowerPoint, and then we're going to walk through the process. It's actually very quick and very easy. What I would like to do, if it's okay, is hold any questions um, until the end. We are recording this. I believe Deanna, you know, will be posting this. So if we can get through the steps, we will then um, hold any questions and make sure that we address anything that you might um, have questions with as we go through the process. So the agenda today, we're going to be exporting data using my school data using the ESSER tab. After we've extracted our information, we are going to populate the SAT spreadsheet with data from our MySchool data spreadsheets. There are four different spreadsheets that we are able to extract um, data for. We can extract current year data, prior year data, data from two years prior, and there's also a tab that allows us to export zip codes. When we get into My School Data from the My School Data main screen, many of you are already familiar with the tab for the Cedars Data Viewer. You are going to select from the Cedars Data Viewer tab and go down and select ESSER. Once we are in that area, by default, you are going to be in the current school year. You are going to have the option to filter by school. If you do not select a school, your data is going to include the entire districts. You can see down here that I've highlighted. I am on the current year tab. I have my current school year and I have the ability to select um, a particular school. Once I have made my selections, I'm going to export that data to Excel um, to download the spreadsheet by selecting this export to Excel. I will then repeat that process for the additional tabs. You'll notice here I have the tabs highlighted for you. We started out when we first went in under the current year. I will then select my prior year tab. It will display that I am in my prior year. Once again, I will choose my school year, a school, and export to Excel. And then I'll move on um, to the two years prior and my zip codes. Once I've completed downloading those four files, I will find them um, on my 
desktop, most likely in my downloads folder um, by the following names. So my current year's data will be named current ESSER. The prior year data will be named prior ESSER. Data from two years prior will be two prior ESSER and the zip codes file will be ESSER zip code. So you wanna to navigate to wherever you have have saved those files when you extracted them from my school data. Again, that will be dependent um, on how you get to those dependent upon the browser um, and the operating system that you're using. Once I have my data um, available and saved, I will want to take each of those spreadsheets and I'm going to copy and paste the data into the SAT sheet from each of those four files that I created in the previous steps. If you have an enable content um, at the top of um, your SAT sheet, um, they recommend not selecting that uh, when you open it. We only want to copy columns A, through N from each of those um, three files, the current, prior, and two-year prior files. Um, once I show you the spreadsheets um, that we export, you'll, you'll see why I don't need those additional columns um, beyond column N. Once we've copied our data, we then want to select the appropriate tab to copy each of the downloaded spreadsheets. That SAT sheet is going to have multiple sheets and tabs down at the bottom for you to select from. We wanna make sure that the current um, download goes on the school data copy here tab. We um, select the prior year tab to copy our prior year data. Same with the two year prior, we will go to the two years prior data, copy here tab, and there will be a tab for zip codes. I do want to let you know, and I will uh, show this to you as we get into the My School Data screen, there are resources that are available for you as well. I be, believe that Deanna has already shared these with you. Um, but you can find them again on your My School Data screen by going to Resources, selecting to view the resources. And there are two different um, resource documents that are available to you. If you have not yet registered and accessed the Attendance Works um, resources link, you can go ahead and select it there. It will take you out to that website where you can register. Um, to, to get those worksheets for you to work on. And then there is a document that um, explains how to extract the data. It has similar information to what we just went through in each of the previous slides. I am going to go ahead and minimize this spreadsheet for a moment. And let's go ahead and go to my school data and let's access our information. So what you'll notice here is I am already logged in to my school data. Um, the information that I extracted and am using for examples um, comes from the Hope, Hoquiam School District. Um, I promise I have um, masked any identifying information for students. And so you will not see any student information um, here. Um, I happen to this time log into um, Aberdeen, but I've got my um, screen minimized or made it smaller so you won't see any student specific data. So as we saw in the um, PowerPoint, I'm gonna select on our Cedars Data Viewer from our Cedars data viewer, I'm going to select ESSER. Once this screen populates, you'll see that I'm on the ESSER area. As I mentioned, you're defaulted to the current year. I have the ability to select current, prior, two-year prior, 
or my zip codes from here. I'm in the current year. I can select to filter a school. If I select my school, I then select export to Excel. I'm not gonna export any of this data um, for you right now. I'm just gonna show you that we'll go to prior year. You would again want to um, select your school. Um, I believe it was this one that I selected last time and we'll export to Excel. I'll repeat the process for two years prior, select my school if um, appropriate, export to, to Excel, and then do the final. Um, again, for my schools, I can, can select a single school or my entire district and export my zip codes to Excel. I've actually completed all the processes that I need to on the My School Data screen. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. And I'm gonna open up a, um, my downloads. So in my downloads folder, I have, um, as was explained, my current ESSER, my prior ESSER, my two prior ESSER, and my ESSER zip code files. I am going to open up each of these files individually, and then I will be placing them on one of the SAT worksheets. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up a SAT worksheet. Um, I believe I'm gonna use this one. This takes a minute. I believe that there are multiple sheets and I believe there's a whole lot of calculations going on in the background in this particular workbook. If we patiently wait for this to open, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna maximize this here. Um, I have already populated um, some information on this sheet. I need to hide these meeting controls again, I'm sorry. Um, there we go. So you can see down here at the bottom, I have my school data copy here, my um, zip codes, my prior year data and my two year prior data. As I click on each of these um, tabs, I will find whether I've um, entered my information or not. I do wanna show you that I did, um, did go ahead and enter information in the school data just to show you what it looks like once it's populated. Um, one thing, that I do want to point out to you, the extracts that you're going to be getting from my school data do not include a student ID in column D. Your column D should end up being your grade column. Um, so we are going to have to import the data in two steps. It is my understanding that before the end of the month, there will be um, an update to the ESSER extract and it will be populating um, student ID information. Let's go ahead and open up a spreadsheet. Since I already have um, my current year data, downloaded. Let's go to my prior ESSER. It'll open up here in a moment. Um, and again, this is, this is data that I had extracted. I went ahead and masked um, the first and the last names. Obviously, you are going to have um, your information identifying the students um, that, that you need. Um, as I stated in the SAT um, tool, you do not have a, or you have a student ID column. You do not have that in this extract. So what I want to be able to do, let me go to my home. Oh, on this keyboard, I don't have a home button, do I? Well, that's a bummer. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top, sorry. 
and to my first column. So this first column is a little bit um, difficult to tell since I have copied first name and last name into columns A and column C. Um, but my data starts in row two. I have this header information um, up here and available to me. I am going to start in column um, A in row two, and then I am going to get my next two columns. And this is supposed to, I don't have an end. Well, um, unfortunately, there we go. Thank you. There's my own my end. Oops. Let me try that again. I apologize. Um, I'm not using my keyboard and I'm using my laptop. So what I want to do is I want to do get to my home. I'm sorry, what's that? That's up to the series. Yeah, I want to get to my home. <laughs> okay, so from column two, um, from column A, row two, I want to be able to copy these next two columns and all of the rows of data it should be my down arrow. Let me try that again. Okay, I'm using my shift and my arrow keys in order to select the columns that I want. And then my down arrow to make sure that I get all of the rows. So as I said, I only wanna copy A, B, and C right now. I'll do my control copy. I'm going to minimize this. I am going to hide my meeting controls one more time. And I am going to go to my prior year data, copy here. I am going to highlight in the yellow field and I am going to paste my data. I am then going to go back to my spreadsheet and this time I wanna start with column D. I wanna start with column, um, column D row two. I want to go all the way over to column N. There's a school name and another column at the end. It is not information. Thank you. Copy. I'm going to copy this data. Again, I don't want columns O and P, which is the school year and the school name in this particular file. I'm again, I'm gonna minimize my data. I am going to go, I'm gonna skip my student ID because I want my information to be placed in this grade in school and I'll paste my data. I'll do the same with my zip codes and my two year prior by opening up the other spreadsheets that I have. Let's quickly do um, my zip codes. And here I have very, very few items I want to copy. I wanna to go to my zip code and I want to place the information uh, beginning on row four in the first column. It's as simple as that. Once I have my data all populated in these four sheets, then each of the other sheets um, will provide me um, the calculations and the information that I believe um, Deanna would be happy to share more details about. Thank you at so this, much, Barb. Yeah, at this point, it's open for questions. So um, let me know what questions you have. 
if people just want to unmute or you can put your questions in chat um, and we can um, get any information you might need from Barb. All right, Barb, if you want to put that last screen back up. So we do have some people that are not from, not supported by ESD 113 on our meeting today. And so um, uh, for people that are, if, you, if you're having troubles and your um, uh, uh, administrator for CEDARS at your school district um, has some questions, um, then feel free to use our, our um, uh, help ticket um, for uh, people that are not being supported by ESD 113, please outreach to your local ESD um, so they can get you to the right person to make sure you get support with any questions uh, when you when you use this tool. <laughs> 